Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your very first dev server overview and gameplay for the F-20A Tiger Shark. This is a currently rank 8 battle rating 12.0 fighter in the American Air Forces tech tree. And yes, you did hear that correctly. Rank 8, meaning that this is as of current a top tier premium. Gaijin is now doing that. And this vehicle is pretty much like the F-5E on steroids. It has a ridiculously good top speed, really nice turn time, excellent rate of climb, and has has okay-ish secondary ordnance, only AIM-9Ls, only AIM-7Fs. You don't get AIM-9Ms, you don't get AIM-7Ms, you just get kind of the little bit worse versions of those. So we'll have to wait and see how it kind of functions with those. You also only get 45 countermeasures at most. And if you want to go for ground attack, you have AGM-65Bs, which are decent, but you also have no guided ordnance insofar as bombs or rockets are concerned. You just have these agm 65 b missiles so this thing might be a little bit limited in some regards now bear in mind everything that you see here on this on the dev server is subject to change before the live server comes out so this thing could have a different br it could have a different set of weapons we don't know this is just kind of what this vehicle is as of right now it looks like it is probably going to be pretty accurate or close to what we'll have in the live server so i said let's get into a few matches see how this thing performs because right now it is 74 dollars 99 cents and bear in mind i will have a full review for this vehicle once it comes out for the live server so that being said let's get into a few matches see how we do so bear in mind again being that this is the dev server i kind of want to show you this vehicle in several different aspects so right now we have only aim 9 l's the next match will probably equip some aim sevens to this and maybe eventually also the chungus cannon on the bottom now as you can see again being that this is the dev server we are facing exclusively bots uh and that's just how the dev server is so unfortunately that's what we have now that said i'm going about 1500 kilometers per hour mach 1.25 at only 3000 meters and i'm still gaining speed and altitude mind you so that's pretty damn good roll rate is not bad it's pretty decent at this uh sort of speed Let's see if it has a cockpit. So this is the cockpit right now as it is. Kind of a little bit bare bones, but not bad. Um, when it comes to its radar, it does have pulse Doppler, which is nice. Let's see how it can turn at... So I do have 11 and a half Gs of overload. Now, one thing about this, if you want to make this into an expert crew, at least as of current, on the dev server, it will have... Or it will cost, I think, like 1.7... Seven, so one million seven hundred seventy thousand silver lines in order to actually do that. So let's just go ahead and move up here. Engine or uh, fuel rate, fuel burn is not terrible, not great though. Uh, bear in mind you can have a fully customizable fuel loadout. Now it only goes up to twenty six minutes as of current with this, with the uh, you know with the fuel loadout. So that's a full load. But as you can see, I mean, SU-27s have already surpassed me pretty damn easily. But, I mean, insofar as the radar is concerned, I'm actually kind of impressed by this thing. It's it's actually tracking pretty well against ground. I mean, I know it's pulse Doppler, but not bad. So, let's go fire. Okay, that was a little bit strange. I don't know why it wasn't firing for me. Should be able to get the kill. And we have first strike. Not too bad. Now supersonic this thing is actually turning pretty damn decently let's go ahead and put these air brakes on they're i think they're slightly bigger than what you'd find on the standard f5 oh wow look at that maneuverability holy guacamole you talk about a turn fight man wow that's gonna be good okay we have some yaks now that's one thing i typically don't ever fight i never go for the yaks uh, oh, and look at me gaining all that speed back. That's really nice. Okay, we have ourselves a hit. Now, bear in mind, we do have the same exact cannons with this as what you would find on the standard F5, unfortunately. So it's got the same exact cannons. Not really something that I'm particularly happy about, but also they're not terrible cannons. Uh, I just prefer the 20s, like the rotary 20s that you currently, that you find typically in uh you know in a lot of american planes okay we have one missile out and hopefully we can get another one out in just a few seconds here now i am running low on fuel unfortunately 
So let's just try this one more time. Hopefully, okay, I got kill one and kill two. Very, very nice. So that said, let's go ahead and uh, get into another match. See what we could do, but I mean, overall, pretty impressed with this. It is, as one could expect, an F5 with much better performance and better missiles. So just to kind of give you guys an idea of how fast this thing is, I am gaining altitude all while moving still at a speed of like close to 1700 kilometers per hour and gaining speed too. This thing is fast, man. Holy cow. Now I do have aim sevens equipped as you can see. It just doesn't look right in my opinion like that. Maybe it's just me. So we're going to go fire some aim seven Fs once we get a little bit closer to see what we can do. But man, this thing is fast. Holy cow. But I am actually kind of impressed by the radar a bit. This must be a new feature, like the blinking feature. I'm not entirely sure. Haven't seen that one before. And there we go. We have ourselves a hit. Going to switch over to the AIM 7Ls. And we're going to hopefully get whatever. Now, we do not have a helmet mounted display here, unfortunately. Um, very much, unfortunately. But, let's see. Can I hit him with an AIM 7F? And I can! Look at that, man! Look at that! Wow! I'm actually really impressed by this thing. It's overall, like, it's anti-aircraft performance. I mean, it's not, like, groundbreakingly amazing, but it's really nice. And, of course, you're going to have the same cannons, again, as the standard F5. Don't know what the hell that guy's doing, but, hey, if you don't know what you're doing, then the enemy can't know what you're doing, right? But, I mean, overall, like, look at this manu- 13 Gs, man! Holy cow! Let's see, can I hit this guy? Probably not. Okay, we have ourselves... Uh, oh, wow, isn't that something? So they called it critical damage, whereas before, or whereas now, I thought it was going to be referred to as severe damage, especially when you essentially rip off a wing or something, but it is what it is. And we have ourselves an enemy kill assist. Not too bad. So, I mean, overall... I'm actually quite impressed with this. Now, bear in mind, we are facing bots that are not actively using things like countermeasures or anything like that. So, you have to remember, in this instance, temper your expectations a little bit. That's why we have reviews. That's why I'm going to make a review once, uh, you know, once I can. Because such a thing would actually be warranted in this instance. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the kill here. Maybe, right? Okay. Okay. That's fine by me. I really don't care if I get the kill or not. This is whatever. But you have to temper your expectations a little bit. Now, when it comes to the flight model, things could change. Genuinely, things could change quite a bit between now and when this vehicle comes out. However, uh, it does feel pretty complete. I'm not sure if it's going to stay this maneuverable. We'll have to wait and see. But, um, you know, how it is versus actual enemies, that will be interesting. Because I'm not entirely sure... If it's going to be this good, if it's going to be better, it's going to be worse, we'll have to see. Uh, so I said, let's get into one final match here, see what we could do. Not bad. Got two kill assists, five kills. And, uh, I mean, just overall, like, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, at this BR, a vehicle is essentially just as good as its missiles, and its missiles aren't really that fantastic, at least if you're the type of person to be a missile fighter. But if you're, like, a dogfighter like me, this is kind of like a dogfighter's dream. So I guess that said, let's get into a uh, final match, see what we could do, but... Damn, son. Oh, yeah, and you also have, um... Ooh, very nice. This thing also has, um, gun sights that can be changed based on... See? Radar gun sights, or whatever the heck the term is. Nice! Let's get into it. So here's something interesting. The RWR on this thing is actually picking up AA. And I'm thinking... That must be the AA from the base all the way over here. Is that normal? Maybe I just haven't noticed it yet, but... That seems pretty extreme. Now, we do have an enemy F-104. Let's go ahead and fire. Now, if you guys must know, I do have the Chungus Cannon... Equipped on this thing. Can I hit him? Ah, uh, too close. That's the AIM-9L for you. If this thing had thrust vectoring, it'd be a little bit better. But the Chungus Cannon is on this thing. And at ground level, we are still flying at above Mach 1. And gaining speed very easily, even with this Chungus Cannon, the 30mm Cannon. 
Okay, so we have ourselves a few enemies here. Hopefully he doesn't notice me. I'm hoping. Such would be nice, but he obviously does. So, we're going to have to get into a dogfight with this one. More likely than not. Who knows? And severe damage. Can't complain about that. Very nice. MiG-23 behind me. Should be able to outrun him. Definitely going to catch up to this um, SU-25 here. Now, I think they have IRCM or something that kind of makes it difficult for us to lock on. Or whatever the, the phrase is. So, I'm going to save my remaining AIM-9Ls for the MiG. And let's see if we can get him. Have ourselves a hit and a severe damage. No kill as of yet. This guy definitely wants some. Um, let's see. Bear in mind also, those were not bots. Okay, we have ourselves a miss. He is turning in on me. Put them flaps on. They are engaging at like 900-ish kilometers per hour. Very nice. Okay, and we have another severe damage with the guns. No kill yet, somehow. But, okay, that, that should be enough for me. So, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. This guy's gonna die. Severe damage is a really weird thing. Because on one hand, it's like... Yeah, I get it. You know, kind of, he can still fly back, but not really. But anyways, that seems to have been, like, pretty much all the bots. So, that guy's gonna die. Un oh, no, he was severe damaged. I'm not gonna take that kill. Like, that'd be so stupid. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and fire on this Jaguar, if we can. But, I mean, otherwise, what can I say about this vehicle? I am genuinely, genuinely impressed by its performance. Like, I knew that this was a fast vehicle, but it feel Maybe I just kind of forget how the F-16 feels, but it feels faster than the F-16. It feels like it performs a bit better, maneuvers a bit better. Um... This vehicle, overall, is just very capable. Now, I don't really have too much in the way of cannons left, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's just a surprisingly very nice vehicle. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get this guy. Probably not, right? So, I mean, obviously I can't recommend anything, especially if it's on the live server. Like, that wouldn't be right. However, I can tell you again, I'm pretty impressed by this vehicle, despite the fact I'm probably going to die soon. Um, but I got three kills on actual players in the dev server. Whether that means anything to you or not, again, you can be the judge. So let's just kind of get closer to this MiG-23, see if we can gun him down with the 78 shells left in my 30 mil cannon. And that'll probably be the end of this video. Okay, we have severe damage against him. And I fudged up big time right there. I don't know how the hell I just did that, but whatever, right? Severe damage, this guy's going to be getting knocked out of the sky one way or the other. But that said, thanks so much for watching. I mean, if you guys don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. I will be releasing other videos from the dev server over the next few days. Uh, definitely probably something on the M60-2000 or as it's referred to in this as the uh, 120S. And, uh, you know, let me know what other sort of videos you want me to do like other vehicles you guys want me to show off but i've got a feeling this next major update will have a ton of reviews that i will be doing but either way thanks again see you all on the other side thanks for watching take care everyone